everybody, welcome back. Family holiday dinners be like. Damn, I'm gay. Will you shut the f up? The game's on. God damn it. Welcome to Thanksgiving. I'm your mom, and wine makes me honest. It's called Black Friday. When's it gonna be White Friday? <laughs> I'm your overachieving cousin you get compared to. Why can't you be more like your cousin? She got into Harvard. On affirmative action. Well, then what's your excuse? I'm your half-brother from your dad's secret family. This is Junior, your half-brother. Oh, she an Amazonian? God damn. <laughs> I'm your underachieving cousin, and I'm fine with that. We're gonna go take a walk. I'm your art school cousin. Thanksgiving's hard for me because I'm neurodivergent. I'm gonna free you, buddy. Don't you touch that goddamn bird, you hear me? You guys want a turkey trot? You don't the fuck out of here. Why do we subject ourselves to this every year? <laughs> Can we also add in the aunt that isn't your aunt that somehow makes it to every family dinner and talks about herself the whole time? I got one of those. Guys, I accidentally took my grandma's leftover Thanksgiving food that was in Tupperware and my cousin sent me this video after I left. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should probably give it back to her. I think she was planning on eating that for lunch. Okay, but have you ever had turkey? No. That is a reasonable response. <laughs> Yay, can't wait to go back to Calgary and fight with my parents for five days. <laughs> my brother brought his girlfriend over to have dinner for the first time, so we pretended we sing the Pledge of Allegiance before dinner. Oh, that's mean. I love it. You guys ready for dinner? Yeah, yeah. We're ready. I'm All ready. right. I have a pledge of States of America, <laughs> to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The spin! Right. Yeah, the Good meat, good Lord, let's eat. Right, I'll start. Oh my goodness, who who told her? Did anyone spill the beans or does she really think that you guys do that before every dinner? <laughs> Our Lord and Savior, America. So Mike is meeting my parents for the first time. I know, very exciting. I feel like we should do something like this, you know, and just with them a little bit. Taking submissions on what we should do to mess with Mike at our family dinner. No wrong answers. <laughs> My family and their Thanksgiving problems. Ooh, ooh. Mom, started drinking at 10 a.m. Same, same, same. Sister wants to be engaged. Okay, yes, yeah, same. <laughs> Sister's boyfriend has no interest in proposing. Oh. Brother-in-law has to work on Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Sister always hangry. Sister can't eat the mac and cheese. <laughs> Granny has been cooking since 6 a.m. Mac and cheese, I see. Nephew, milk drunk. <laughs> Dad quit his job. Oh, love that. What a motley crew you have there. Also, can I have some of that mac and cheese? That looks lit. All right, which one are you? I am 100% has to work on Thanksgiving for sure. Has to work on Christmas usually. Definitely sprinkling in some drinking at 10 a.m. Why not? Why not? There's a time difference. Bailey's in the coffee. It's the holidays. Pop some Irish whiskey in there. And I also think I might be a bit milk drunk, but instead of milk, it's eggnog. Bad manners at the dinner table to see how my mom reacts. Chewing with my mouth Can you open. Stop doing that, please. Doing what? You're chewing with your mouth open and you sound like a cow. You sound like a cow. Well, you look like. No. Mm. Ah! Say that again. Say. Again. You look like a supermodel, I was going to say. Slurping my drink. Matt! Matt! Stop! What? Why are you being so rude? I'm being rude. You're the one shouting at the dinner table. Stuffing my face with food. Matt! Matt! You've gone from a cow to a pig. What's next? A donkey? <laughs> Uh, my mama would never allow this. 
She'd smack me upside the head, tell me to go pray. Ma che cazzo fai, eh? Why are you being so rude? Cattiva! Yay, can't wait! It's gotten to the point where she doesn't send me to my room anymore because, you know, I'm 33, so I just excuse myself. I'm just kidding. Family reunion edition. The cousin who just wants to take shots. Ooh, give me one. The cousin who just wants to play charades. Yeah, okay, can we combine the two? The judgmental grandma. <laughs> So ju Why are they so judgmental always? The aunt who keeps trying to get a group photo. <laughs> and it's always terrible. The cool cousin who brought her significant other. Oh, yes. Her significant other who has no idea what's going on and will probably break up with her. <laughs> the little cousin who won't leave the cool cousin alone. She just wants to be included, babe. The aunt who's been up cooking since 5 a.m. Accurate. Can confirm. Are all families dysfunctional? <laughs> Cause like that was a little relatable, you know? Like a little too relatable. Hit close to home. Why are the grandmas always judgy? Or in my case, when you have two dead grandmas, you have an aunt that isn't your aunt who's judgy and doesn't like talking about anything other than herself. I told my mom that I don't want her there this Christmas and I told her to just tell them I have COVID. <laughs> just don't come. Charlotte has COVID. Oh, you simply cannot be around her. You are immunocompromised and old. She has a, a bad case of the ligma. Has anyone ever had to activate their nurse mode when they're at like a family gathering or something like that? Because let me tell you. I'm off the clock, but I'll do it. So it's my family Christmas. We've got about 40 people over at my house. We've had some drinks, we've had some nibbles, we've warmed up the tummies, and now we're ready for the main event, the Christmas feast, right? So we go and get everyone settled outside on the giant long table, and Gran is sitting front and center for the family photo, the classic one that's just straight down the line of the table. And Gran's just giving me nothing. Everyone else is smiling, looking happy, and Gran's just, looking like she'd rather be taking a nap on her couch and she just slowly starts to slouch down head falls to the side oh no! and she's drooling the eyes are rolled back and everyone behind is just laughing and joking around and i'm going guys can we just <laughs> stop please this is kind of serious i do a few assessments on her and we find that she is yeah really not responding to much at all so we carry her inside on her throne and a few minutes later she starts to come back to us. So whilst Gran decides to come back to life and the rest of us are trying to slow our heart rates down, we're talking about what might have caused this little situation. And we start to think about, oh, has anyone taken her any drinks at all? Because Gran just kind of sits there and everyone just brings her stuff. I know, what a life to live, right? And my uncle starts to go, yeah, I've given her a wine or two. And then my auntie goes, yeah, I've given her one. And then my cousin's like, I have two. And my mom goes, well, we do some math and we figure out that we've given my five foot nothing gran about two bottles ah! of wine in an hour and a half. No! So she was just hammered is what you're saying. This reminds me of a time where I was at a wedding and someone, an older gentleman had passed out in the middle of the reception during the father of the groom speech, okay? It was like a commotion. The groom got very angry. He's like, what the hell is going on over there? My father is giving a speech. And then lo and behold, there's someone that's like literally unresponsive. We all thought that he had a heart attack. Ambulance came, everybody was rushing to get him out of there. No, he just, he greened out. <laughs> if you don't know what greening out is, think of the Grinch, but put it between some rolling papers. Nope, nope. Uncle Teddy is simply just green. How festive. Getting my little cousin to start drama at the family reunion because I'm bored. Oh, that's so toxic. I love it. Hey. You should go ask Aunt Jackie why her husband didn't come to Christmas this year. But after she finishes a glass of wine. No, wait. You should fill up her glass first, then ask. Ooh, ooh. You love the drama. Am I the drama? I'm not the drama. Okay, maybe I'm the drama. I'm not the drama. 
Looking to bring some excitement to family gatherings this holiday season? Grab a pregnancy test and toss the box on top of the trash bin in the kitchen. Watch the drama unfold. That's okay. That's diabolical. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. This who's is it? Who's is it? My parents asked me to meet them for dinner. A perfect opportunity to embarrass them. I can't believe you started without me. Yes. Oh, yes. You're looking so festive, babe. You know, I just, I got an idea. I feel like maybe I should bring some, like, Christmas costumes. Like, maybe I'll make my dad wear that Santa costume that I wore in the petty ad. Do I have enough room in my luggage? I am going to the frigid Arctic North, so I, I doubt I will, but I can make some room. Family gatherings be like. Oh, yes, Lena. We love this girl. Aunt, why aren't you married? Where's your boyfriend? Grandma, this close to dying. Little cousin, iPad. <laughs> Siblings beating the crap out of each other. Yep. That'll happen. <laughs> Mom, just holding things together by a thread. And of course, the drunk uncle. So which one are you? The one that sits there judging everybody? Join in the fun. Revel in the chaos! <laughs> oh, I love these. I love these. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Our family and their problems, Christmas edition. Got COVID before Christmas. Yes. Oh, so sick. Cannot talk to people. Perfectionist. Oh, she looks like my aunt. Talks about work 24 seven, making the dessert every time. Cries at every minor incident. Oh, that's me too. Boyfriend who only appears on Christmas Eve. Oh, okay, that's cause he doesn't like you. Has four dogs. Hates everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Loves cars more than people. Has two full-time jobs. She's working right now. Drinks away their problems. Hey. Ole, 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 ole. Eggnog and rum. On the Odyssey's got so many. I really care. I don't want a minivan. No, I don't. I'm 60. The side door is open up. I'm 61 years old. What the f am I doing with a minivan? Hey, you look like a I wear up. a training bra. It's like a peacock. Get the f out of here. I've never seen that. Ron, it's so tight. Your head is all purple, I like. <laughs> I have seen into my future. Does this not look like me in about 40 years? Maybe less. Oh, she looks good. I give it like 30 years and I'll look exactly like this. And I will have adopted a New York accent just because I can. I'm old. I can do whatever the hell I want. And no one will question it either. My wife's first time cooking Christmas dinner. <laughs> okay, I know this is gonna go. Ah! Oh, I love how we still are rolling the camera. Oh. Oh yeah. So we are getting takeout then, I presume? Hey, Swiss Chalet has got some great options. Tastes almost homemade. Sending my fiance spicy pictures while eating dinner with my family. Oh, this guy's Italian too. Oh, he's gonna love it. Sees it on his watch. I like how he pulls out the phone to just double check, just to make sure he saw what he saw. He's gonna be like, my good girl's a fire. Family dinner check. How did everyone enjoy my Christmas meal? Well, you know, Come on, y'all can be yeah. honest. Y'all can be honest. Yeah. I, I, I thought she said her mom was gonna cook. That's why I came. Yeah. Really, the cornbread dressing might have been know. a little dry. Who the hell has beets with the chicken center? <laughs> I think the water was the highlight of the meal. Yeah. You're right. Did you like it? Oh my God. Shape up. Oh my God. Nobody has to eat.
to eat anymore. <laughs> oh, just I give me a bite. Thing. Come on. I'm done. A very shiny nose. You would even say it glows. Like the light. Wait, what? Right? Yeah, right, yeah. Oh, 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 this, I love this chaos. I love that. To be fair, if someone insulted my cooking at Christmas dinner, I would have cried too. All right, who's excited to go home for the holidays? Stir up some trauma. Anyone? Subscribe!